Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That sounds fun. There, that sounds a lot better. How are you doing this morning? Today, we're talking about making uh, your ideas a reality, how to leverage a great idea. More on that right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Oh, it's chilly in here. Hey there, everybody. Good morning, friends, fans, and followers. So happy that you are here with me this morning. When you get here, do what Joe's done already. Leave a comment, say hi, turn the heat on, whatever, you know, whatever works for you, works for me. Hey, um, <coughs> whew, excuse me. Let me. Get another sip of coffee here. That was the last sip of coffee out of that cup. So short show today. So let's get right to it. It's a great quote. Uh, this one uh, comes from Bill Gates. Intellectual property has the shelf life of a banana. In fact, uh, hey, there's Catherine's quote from yesterday. Have a blessed day. Glorious morning to you both. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Perfect day to have fun, make friends, and be relentlessly helpful. Well, I like that. That's two days in a row you're going to get something up there. All right. So let me uh, let me do this. Bear with me. I'm going to have a different quote than what pops up here. Bling. I just like this, this quote. That's why I want to share it. So there we go. Uh, come on. There we go. Intellectual property. See, now you're seeing how a little bit how the sausage is made. Intellectual property has the shelf life of a banana. Intellectual property has the shelf life of a banana. Our good friend, um, good friends in the legal industry, especially those that deal with IP might disagree with that. But here's the point. And, and really what I want to challenge you with today. Ideas are useless, right? Execution matters. In fact, in the text down below, I think I say ideas suck. Execution matters, something like that. And um, so putting that quote got me all derailed. I was all pumped up. Now let's get back to it. So have you ever been watching TV and commercial comes on? Somebody in the room says, there, honey, look, that's my idea I was telling you about. I thought of that. That was my idea. You ever heard anybody do that? Maybe you've done that. So there are lots of things that come to market. The Snuggie is the one that I always bring up. But there are lots of things that come to market that people thought of. They just never took any action on and the only difference between you and the person who made millions of dollars off the Snuggie is that you actually, they actually did something about it. So why is it then, why is this so common? I mean, honestly, hundreds of times I've talked to people within, in similar circumstances. Well, I had this idea and I was working on it and then so-and-so it came out, you know, so-and-so put it on the market and so I just gave up on it. Uh, okay. Why? Here's the thing, right? Why are there more than one, why is there more than one car manufacturer in, in the planet? Why is there a Walmart and a Target or, or, or Walmart and Dollar General? Why is there a Publix and a Kroger? Execution. The idea is not even different. Build a great big building, put a bunch of food and crap in it that people want to buy, and then let them come there and buy it. That idea is not new. It's not different. It's not innovative. It's just there. The difference between this 
entities, this company's execution and this company's execution is what drives business. And it's that business that drives success. Most people, when they get an idea, they start, they'll, they'll spend a few seconds, literally a few seconds in this euphoric state of, oh, we could do this and this and this, and it'll be, we'll sell millions and make billions. Oh yeah, except that, you know, I don't have the money to put up a website. So, okay, well, never mind. And, and they, then they immediately switch into this throwing roadblocks and obstacles up in front of it. And, and as that example hopefully pointed out, ridiculous roadblocks. You're going to give up. I mean, if it is really truly a billion dollar idea, you're going to give up on a billion dollar idea because you can't put up a, a, a free, for that matter, free website. All right. You are never going to make it anyway. So here's what I want you to do. That great quote, the other great quote that, that this always reminds me of is Randy Posh from the last lecture. The brick walls are not there to keep you out there. They're there to make you prove how bad you want it. Just when you see those obstacles, this is, a, this is the mindset that we have to, to bring to this. When you see those obstacles, they are there to say, hey, you're on the right track. You just have to get over this wall. If there are no obstacles... Maybe you're not on the right track. I don't know. I'm just putting that out there, throwing that out there. Joe says innovation is a mindset that can become a culture as long as you act on it. Yes. You can act on it on a regular basis with vision and purpose to fuel success. Yes, I agree with that. And way, way, way. In fact, 98%, I would say 98% of people end their definition of success with the implementation of this idea. I mean, take Amazon, for example. I mean, love them or hate them, nobody can argue that it's been a, he's, he's been successful in building a huge business. And he started selling books out of the garage. If that had been the only intent to sell books out of the garage, he could have been successful doing that. Wouldn't have built Amazon, but he could have been successful doing that. Right? He had a vision beyond that. And that's Joe's point. Whatever this implementation is, whatever the idea is, as long as it's moving you toward that, that vision of where you want to go, hey, get on with it. Let's see. Someone has already made a romantic comedy, but that doesn't stop others from making rom-coms. Exactly. Do what stirs your heart, inspires others' hearts. It's not the what as much as the why. I like that. Last thing I'm going to share with you is up over the door, back over there. Oh, no, no, you can't see it in the shot. I've got a little sign over the door. There are a million reasons why not. Only one great reason why. Successful people launch. There are a million reasons why not. Only one great reason why. Find that reason. Pursue those ideas that deliver on that reason. And you will have everything you want. Thank you so much for being here. Somebody in your network needs to hear this message, and you already know who they are. Go ahead and click on that share button. I can see who shares and who doesn't. Just saying, click on the share button, whether it's on the uh, video on Facebook, video on YouTube, or audio on any of the great channels where you can listen to this podcast. Share it with somebody in your network. Only one person, though. Don't share it to everybody. Just one person that needs to hear this message today. I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Friday. That means Red Friday. Get your red. Get you something red. It's easy this time of year. It's Christmas. Everybody's wearing red. That's not why we wear, wear red on Friday, but you can. It's okay with me. I'll be back tomorrow. You guys have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you then.